we're gonna be washing the car with. Poor boy is super slick and wax. So here we go, I'm gonna speed this part up. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Octane Red 392. And today we're gonna to be going through my garage and cleaning it up. So here we go. Alright guys, so so we gotta work with. Now I'm gonna speed this up, and this is going to look like products that I found that I've used over the years while well, detailing my cars, previous vehicles, and my current vehicle. So let's take a look at what I found. All right guys, so starting off first, Poor Boys. If you guys seen my recent video of me getting some products from Poor Boys, I actually have ordered a, quite a bit from them. So the stuff that they uh, sent me is in the back, but a lot of this stuff is up, up front here. I've come across while cleaning up my garage. Some of this stuff has got lost in the, in the mix with all of this stuff I have going, I had going on. Now I'm gonna enjoy using the rest of my Glossop products, moving on to my Poor Boys products. And then we're gonna, go, we're gonna go down to the second level where I have a lot of Chemical Guys products as well. So let's go down there. All right, so here, Chemical Guys products from their Citrus Car Wash, Hydrophobic Free Rinse Car Wash, to their Vitalize Spray Sealant. Okay, this is a bigger bottle of it. Yeah, a bigger bottle, so when I use that, I use more of this. What else do we have in here? Oh yeah, the Adams, Adams Wash and Wax. This is also a good one to use on your car. Mother's ceramic spray coating. This one's similar to the Glossit. What else we got here? Jack's Wax. Theirs is pretty good as well. The Liquid Carnuba. I'll show you guys that Chemical Guys Citrus Car Wash one again. Which is, has hydro hydrophobic Free went car wash. Oh yeah, this one right here is nice too. The Aero Fusion Kit. This is the uh, infused carnauba wax that you're using the second step, I believe. You gotta wash. I used all the wash a while ago, and the way I wax, I don't use a lot of wax. It's not heavy, so that's why I still have a lot of this left over. Oh, 
Old Faithful here. Old Turtle Wax Polishing Compound. I use it sometimes if I get small scratches on the car with my wheels over here. I had an assortment of them. Got an orbital over right here. Another, set, another type of orbital. And I got a wheel right here. This one's dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing, be careful. This one can burn your paint. But if you know what you're doing, it's for the professionals. You got your uh, electric polisher right here. Has multiple speeds, but be careful with those speeds and make sure you're using the right pad when you're applying your compounds and your waxes to your vehicle. That makes it easier to get a shine, but also makes it easier to damage your clear coat and your paint on your car. So be careful with that. Also, let's take a look over here. Got some stuff right here for when I go to car shows. This is a really high gloss uh, tire dressing just to make the tires look a lot more shinier, catch a judge's eye, stuff like that. Got some superior one-step clear coat polishing glaze. As you can see, I, I go through my products uh, sparsely. I don't, I don't really blow through my products which explains why <laughs> I found so much of my previous Poor Boys products right here and why it looks like I haven't even touched my Glossip products, but I have. I've been using those recently. I'm gonna start using the Poor Boys stuff next. So, from all of the products and stuff I have in my garage, I'm gonna be going through these and I'm gonna try to wash my car more than normal, which sounds crazy, because I wash it every other day. So, I'm gonna go through these products and de give you guys detail and updates and detailed videos on how to detail your car, how to take care of the paint, how to take care of the vinyl, how to take care of the tires as well. All right, guys, I showed you guys my chemicals that I found from cleaning up my garage. Showed you a speeded up version of me in my garage because it was almost two hours and I've noticed that I got a lot of chemicals here a lot of car wash detail chemicals so I'm gonna be detailing my car next so stay tuned for that here we go All right, guys. so this is what we're gonna be washing the car with poor boy is super slick and wax so here we go, I'm gonna speed this part up. All right, we've washed it, now we're gonna dry it off. And we're gonna be using a uh, Poor Boys Black Hole Wax to put a wax on the car, since I haven't waxed it in a while. And then we're gonna finish up with some more of the Glossit uh, Evo TRV on the vinyl. So here we go. All right guys, we're done wiping it off, drying it off. Now we're gonna start applying Poor Boy's Black Hole Wax. It's for the, it's made for the uh, show, show glaze for dark colored vehicles is what it says. So, I'm not going to a show obviously, but I like it when my car is shiny. So, I'm gonna apply this. It's supposed to hide swirl marks, high gloss, and a slick finish. So, it contains cleaners and fillers using sun or shade it says so remember i told you guys you want to make sure you're in a cool area something like that over or like it's kind of like it's six o'clock now so it's not as hot so when i had my car here sitting it was all right it wasn't like i was doing this at noon or one o'clock when it's like the hottest so i'm gonna apply this i might do it i'll do it by hand I was gonna use my machine, but I'll do it by hand. And I'm gonna speed this up too. So. All right, guys. So we we're done with polishing the car, washing the car. Um, I use these two products: the Poor Boys Super Slick Wax, Super Slick Wax Shampoo which is this bottle right here. 
And then this bottle right here is what I just finished up with, the Poor Boys Black Hole. So this is for the dark colored cars for uh, show car glaze. These products work pretty good. I'm gonna see how these hold up over a week. And now, before I end the video, I'm gonna be applying some of that special magic to the vinyl hood, the vinyl roof, and the vinyl trunk. So here we go. guys that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed the detail portion of this video as well as the beginning of the video when we cleaned up the garage made it a lot neater and more presentable stay tuned for more videos coming up and a new install video coming up very soon so until next time guys see you later Before you do that though, hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so this way you're notified when we post out awesome new content. Go Jags!